This video is extremely late. I know. Maybe I should just move my Panda Palette updates to in the middle of the month. I... I don't know. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a Panda Palette update and this is my second update for this year's Panda Palette. This theme is Panning Solita and it is a Pantastic Ladies collab. This theme is created by Erin and Erin is amazing if you have, haven't checked her out already. She is linked down below as well as all the other ladies in this collab. And the Pantastic Ladies group is always linked in my description box actually. I have mixed feelings about it. I love the idea, like I love the idea, but I feel like quitting. <laughs> and I had the same feeling about my Panda Palette last year at this time around that I wanted to quit and it was not for me and stuff like that. And I have the same feeling again. So I can't help myself and think maybe I shouldn't do, maybe I shouldn't do Panda Palette. But I really want to use stuff up. This theme is panning solitaire. So solitaire, we need to find, we need to pan a single, a duo, trio, chord, quint. I don't know what the rest is called, but you get the idea. And we have to finish in order of that. Due to me not having any trios or duos, I chose my single eyeshadows to work on and as I just said before I wanted to quit and that is based around these shadows because they are they're really great shadows don't get me wrong but oh they are not they, they are not my favorite the only one I use today for this look it is Sunday so I wanted to play and I'm not going anywhere um that is my single <laughs> for the last week or oh, Two weeks, I have wanted to quit this, I have wanted to declutter these items. I have not been very motivated to use them. I do love the look that I can get out of these, but it's kind of boring that I can only get like one, maybe two looks out of these shadows. Let me show you guys where I was last time and where I am now. This is where I am now. So, as you can see, there's some difference and there's an extra eyeshadow. For my single, I have my Benefit Call Me Buff. I repressed it just after the uh, I did my last update and I was thinking I should repress it and then I can use it easily and there's not that much product left and stuff like that. It almost filled up the pan again. How is that possible? I had so much pan and how can it be filled almost to the rim of the pan again? You can see where my brush is, but I have not used the sides of this product. Can you see how full it is? There's so much product. You can see the dip that is forming now, but it will take forever to use this up again. But I really like this for my brow bone highlight and this is the only one I have on today. Then we have my duo which is my other two benefit uh, single shadows in nude swings. Yeah, this rose gold champagne shade and taupe it off. These two right here. I don't think I have used nude swings at all this month because I have really tried to finish my fracking shadow that I have used from a little bit of this from. You can see the huge dip plus some highlighter. I'm trying to pan on this highlighter right there. Um, so I mixed those two together because I wanted a more golden shade. I don't like taupe eyeshadow. I have just figured out that now. I do really really like this franken shadow because it's a little bit more cool tone gold is that even a thing i don't know but yeah i hit pan on my franken shadow there's not that much product in this i hope it still counts as a duo because yeah i i mixed it anyway so it it makes sense for me i can still use that shadow every single day because it's a beautiful eyeshadow but i do miss playing around i do miss variety and i don't have that because I use these three shadows every single day and then I either use this or this on my lid. Now only this one because I want to finish that one. And then this one on my brow bone. The only variation I have from this palette is these two. And that is not a lot because they have very identical on the eyelid. This is just a little bit more 
taupe and this is more rose gold. Very nude on the eyelid. Let's take my trio, shall we? It is these three Catrice shadows right here. They are called Absolute Eye Color and they were in a clear compact. I use this every single day in my transition area and then I use this in my crease. And this in my outer corner combined with a few shadows from my single ladies and my man matte, matte palette. You can definitely see some wear. You can see some wear here in the middle and that is where I use my brush every single day. This one is a fluffy brush in my crease but I also use an eyebrow brush because I also use it in my brows. This is only a fluffy brush but the imprint is almost done. It is going to take forever ever ever and ever to finish these because i have used these for two months straight i don't really play around that much i actually don't use any crease colors and outer corner colors maybe once or twice and in the weekends i mostly experiment five days a week and this is my progress i'm so torn i'm so torn and i know some of you guys are going to say you should just declutter it if you don't like it and you don't want to use it you shouldn't force yourself and i have the same mindset i don't want to paint something i hate but i don't hate them i'm just extremely bored <laughs> so i don't want to quit because then i have quit my panda palette for two years in a row and i always i already feel very guilty about quitting last year's because i did a very colorful palette but i just didn't want to pan it I don't know what to do anymore and then I have my cord and I have not used it not even once this month and I have taken my own suggestion and yours to just not work on it anymore and just focus on the other ones but now I'm just extremely bored but if I even wanted to use this every single day I was I was going to be bored anyway because it, it is cool tones all of them I really want to do pandas eyeshadows but I don't want, I, I want to use stuff up, but I also want variation, Ugh, constant inner panna thinking, panna problems, you know, I, I'm sure most of you can relate. I hope you guys enjoyed this video anyway and you find it somewhat fun or interesting or something like that, I have no idea what to say about that. But yeah, I hope you guys want to stick around there anyway. I do a lot of project planning and I'm doing really good at the moment. I have just uploaded a few videos and I have done quite well. I hope you guys enjoyed and I, you will stick around and you're doing great. And I hope you guys are doing well until my next video. Bye. <laughs>